You are not going in there, Sharifa. Wait, wait, come on, let her go. Get, let her go. Oh, oh my baby, clinging to life in there, Sharifa. I'm the one who Stop shouldn't this. be in there with her. Easy to <laughs> Don't even try to talk. <laughs> Listen to me, honey, honey. You can't lose it like this. Ethan, our little girl may be dying in there. I do not know why Teresa's trying to keep me from my baby. Honey, look at me. I know it's difficult. You have to calm down, though. It's not helping anybody, least of all, our baby in there. Tomorrow, I will file the papers we need to get legal custody. Then, you can see her and spend as much time with her as you like, all right? This is not fair. She needs me right now. I need to be in there with her right now. You know how hard it was for me that I could not carry her myself. Of course I know that. And then I how devastated that. I was when Teresa tricked the doctor and then became our surrogate. I know. And now, now she's compounding her criminal actions by trying to push me aside and she's trying to pretend like she's the mother? I do not, do not want Teresa in there with my baby girl bonding with her. Because you know what's going to happen? She's going to get closer to that baby girl and she's never going to give up. She may even try to kidnap the baby to try to keep I, her from me. No, it's yes, not. Yes. When Teresa wants something, she's capable of anything. Honey, you know it. that won't happen. The baby is safe in intensive care. No, Stop. My mother was right. My mother knew she was planning something. Teresa wants to keep my baby from me. I was an idiot to trust Listen, her. Listen, you're not an idiot. Stop. You're just, just get off that whole thing, okay? Teresa just wants to be with the baby tonight, okay? It's natural. She's carried it for a long time. Think of it as a goodbye before she gives the baby to us for good. You think this isn't fair? I've waited way too long to hold a baby in my arms, and I'm the one who should be in there with her. Give me 10 milligrams of Valium. I want to give Mrs. Winthrop a mild sedative. I don't want a sedative. I want my baby. Oh, you better watch out, Teresa. You better Gwen, watch out. Keep her away from me. Gwen, no. stop it. Give me that syringe, Gwen. No. Take it. Give it to me. Ow! It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be all right. She's not going to be fully unconscious. She's just going to be groggy. Oh, God. There's a room that's empty. You can take her there to rest. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. Thank you, Dr. Russell. I think one was going to kill me. Don't exaggerate, Teresa. She was upset, and I don't blame her. She doesn't deserve to have a little girl. I mean, you can see how unstable she is. Well, I think that's a little unfair, considering the circumstances, Teresa. Can I go to her now? No, well, just wait a minute. Surely you must realize what a big mistake you are making here. This can only end badly for all of you, including an innocent newborn baby. But that's who I'm doing this for. My little girl, the baby that I made with Ethan. Gwen doesn't even know that you slept with Ethan. It would just kill her to find that out. You know what, Dr. Russell? Please stop worrying about Gwen. It's my baby who's fighting for her life in there. You don't know that. Can I go to her now? You know, Gwen is right. You go in there and you start bonding with that baby tonight. It's just going to make it that much harder when it's time to leave her. Dr. Russell, now, my baby needs me. 